Hi, my name is Steve Dickman. I'm president for Outpost Centers International. We're here today on the border of Moldova, Ukraine, and Romania. How is that possible? Well, they joined together at one point. They've established a refugee camp here. We're talking to the local uh, people here about what we can do to help medically in this camp. We have with us today representatives from Adventist Health. They've been regularly on our report. We're here today with them. We're looking at the situation, looking at logistics. What would you say to us today? Uh, Michael, you're the medical director. How are things looking here? Sure, so the, the exact position of this camp is quite critical. We've got Odessa just to the east of us. It's a big city with a few million people. I'm also under threat from, from Russia. Um, this would be a major route for, for refugees uh, fleeing into, into Romania. This is actually one of the main routes that they would be going. So this, um, the location of this camp is quite critical. Um, so depending on the political situation over the next few days, you know, it could be full. It's quite hard to tell, but um, we're planning as if it's going to be worst case scenario, and that's why our team is here. Kim, you've been here with us. Uh, we've been traveling together, True. trying to figure some of these things out. You're the president for Adventist Health. As you're here, you're thinking about this situation. How does this fit into the concept of what Adventist Help is really all about? Well, you know, we got involved in relief work for refugees back in Greece. And as we're going through this empty camp this morning and Michael arrived, when we started with Iraq, it was an empty camp. Three days later, it was a full camp. And so it all depends on how the flow of the war goes. But uh, as much as you don't want to see this place full of refugees, if they do come, this group that's been here has done a great job preparing. If we can get some metal equipment, get our bus here and be on board, then we'll be in a position to, to be a blessing, to be a help and to meet a real need. Thank you. Marcus, we've been talking about things logistically, buses, doctors coming here, where are medical supplies available. What's your evaluation? Is this going to work here? I'm sure it will. We were, by the way, also in an empty camp in Greece before we started. And there's always a lot of help from the local authorities and we have been able to secure the great support of local ministers and uh, people on the spot here like Elena, who is a paramedic who is in charge of the medical services so far and uh, I think she's looking forward to having us join her. Elena, what would you say from a perspective of the camp? Do you need additional help medically? And how do you see this working? Mă numesc Elena și fac parte din echipa paramedicilor Inspectoratului General pentru Situație de Urgență. Elena is a paramedic. She is a part of the team of Extreme Situations Department here in Moldova. Tabara este cu capacitatea de a caza 500 de persoane. This camp is planned to uh, place till 500 refugees. Uh, de ce ar fi nevoie? Am discutat despre un punct uh, medical mobil și ar fi foarte binevoit uh, și binevenit în, în tabără pentru că avem aici uh, posibilitatea de a uh, veni un flux mai mare de refugiați. Uh, here is a need of a mobile medical point because here is a big flux of refugees uh, because this place is next to the both Romanian and Ukrainian border. Uh, dar și o echipă care are deja experiența de lucru în așa condiții, să spun. But they also need a team that is already experienced in such uh, conditions work. Eu nu am experiența de a fi lucrat undeva în condiții cum sunt acum. Elena hasn't experienced yet a work in such conditions like this. Și nimeni din paramedici din colegii mei nu are așa experiență. And no one of paramedics has uh, any experience like that working with the refugees. Așa că noi suntem întotdeauna pentru a învăța. So we are ready to learn de la cei care de la voi from you from those who already have such an experience și de a and to work together pentru oameni for people amen thank you thank so you. much uh, elena for sharing and uh, we want to take just a moment as we finish up here with this report to talk to our local pastor pastor abel you've been here you've been working with adventist health and uh, we're looking forward to what god is going to do here what is your uh, challenge to our viewers today well, uh, 
we are truly amazed, not only as a pastoral family, but also our local churches to find out how our churches is worldwide involved in caring for people. In the last two weeks, we find out a lot about uh, our uh, NGOs, uh, agency that are uh, spreading love and care for the people who are running for, uh, from their country. And uh, we are enthusi enthusiastic about the plans and uh, your willing to help heal the people. Uh, there are ahead many challenges, but I think that uh, with uh, this kind of uh, director's agency here will be uh, the most pressing need uh, fulfilled, the medical and the health, health uh, need. So thank you. Thank you for your support because uh, uh, here will be uh, very important and felt by not only the Ukrainians, but also the whole country of Moldova. Thank you, God bless. Thank you, Pastor Abel. Jonathan, I appreciate you joining us. I know you're in the front lines of Ukraine there, in the eastern part of Ukraine, which is probably a little bit on the danger zone. But uh, we just wanted to touch base with you today and find out uh, what are you doing there and uh, how is the Lord blessing your, your contacts and your service there? I am on the eastern side of Ukraine right now. For the past week, I've been in Kiev delivering food to bomb shelters and helping refugees, as well as uh, helping people clean apartments that got bombed. And then I came down to a smaller city in the southern part called Trinissi to Clinic Angelia there. And I got put with a team of drivers that will be driving supplies uh, out to more of the front lines and taking refugees back to some of the safer cities on the western side of Ukraine or potentially even into Poland uh, and other countries that are taking refugees. I just got a call from one of my partners that I was with in Kiev. They went to a place that got hit by a bomb and there were several fatalities and children sleeping near the fatalities that uh, were displaced. And um, I'd like to just lift them up in prayer. Also, I'd like to say a praise to God. Uh, a donor donated a van actually in Germany, and I'll be flying to Germany this upcoming, probably Sunday or Monday, to pick up the van, uh, do a few repairs on it, and then drive it back to Ukraine to be used here for the humanitarian work. So that will be a huge blessing. And obviously, I appreciate all the prayers for safety and for my team here as they're, everyone is risking a lot. Thank you, Jonathan. God bless you. And uh, we will continue to lift you up in prayer. Friends, it's good to uh, be reporting here today from the front lines right here in Moldova, Ukraine, Romania area. As the crisis develops, as refugees are fleeing their homes and coming here, things are being prepared so that their needs can be met. You can be a part of that. You can help us. You can go to the website. You can donate now. You can be a part of supporting what's happening here with some of the challenges. We thank you for what you've done already. We look forward to seeing what God is going to continue to do as we serve the needs of people. God bless you.